Hello and welcome here. If you are new, my name is Laura and I am a wife, mom, and homemaker. And that's what I like to share about here on my YouTube channel. I cover a wide range of topics relating to those roles. Today, I thought it would be fun to take you guys along and share what I feed my baby in a day. At the time of filming this video, my son is about nine and a half months old and we've been doing solids since he was about six months. We've been doing a mix of purees and baby led weaning, but recently he's really been liking the baby led weaning he enjoys feeding himself and it's a lot easier for me so that's what we have been doing a lot recently I am a first-time mom so when we started solids I knew nothing so I've learned a lot along the way I have asked my mom friends so many questions done research because I was a bit anxious starting solids and maybe you find yourself in a similar position maybe you're also a first-time mom or you're approaching this season of starting solids with your baby. Maybe you're looking for some meal ideas, kind of what it looks like, and that's what I want to share with you today. So I hope this video is helpful. I hope that it's encouraging for you. As always, that's what I am striving for here on my channel. I love to share inspiration, encouragement, and motivation, and I love to keep it real on here by combining beauty and the mundane with authenticity. So again, I would love it for you to subscribe. For this video, I'm just gonna take you along for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today, share what my son eats, how much he eats. I am no expert at all, but I just want to share my experience and kind of how it's going for us at this point being about four months into feeding my baby solids. All right, so for breakfast this morning, we have some pancake. I made these a while ago. I can share that video down below. I just keep them in the freezer and then I took a couple out and microwaved them for 30 seconds to defrost them. And then I cut them into strips. Sometimes I'll just cut them into halves and that works fine too, or even smaller pieces. I just scrambled up one egg and kind of just broke that up into pieces. And then in here, I just put some frozen blueberries straight from the freezer. This is great for, of course, eating, but then also for teething, which we are doing right now. So I'll just put some of this right onto his high chair tray. <laughs> Pancake is definitely the winner here. <laughs> He's picking it out of the eggs. Is that yummy? <laughs> you gotta eat your eggs too, they're good for you. Yum. All right, so this is what we are left with. <laughs> he pretty much polished off everything. The egg was a pretty big hit. He loves those pancakes. So he ate two of them. And then this, he sort of munched at. He definitely liked this. And we have quite a bit on the floor. We left a little bit on the tray. And of course, there's always some in the bib, but he did eat most of it. So this is pretty good. He doesn't always eat everything um, that he's offered, but I have noticed that breakfast he does tend to eat more. All right, it is later on in the day. It is lunchtime. I'm just going to prep some food for Danny for lunch. It is a little bit later than I would typically give him food because we were out grocery shopping, so he's gonna go down for a nap soon. But this is what I have prepared for him for lunch. I have some broccoli that is just thawed. It was frozen and I just heated it up in the microwave. Oh, he's getting hungry. And then we have some shredded chicken. This is leftovers from yesterday. It was a little bit dry, I think, because it's leftover. So I actually, this is going to sound weird, but I sprinkled a little bit of water on it and kind of just got it a little bit wet. I know that sounds gross, but that way it's just a little bit easier to swallow. So we've got chicken, broccoli that I will just give him kind of um, little pieces like that that he can pick up. Sometimes I do also just give him a whole cooked or steamed broccoli for it like that, but I think we'll just stick with little pieces for today. And then I also have some pear slices here. This is not cooked, it is raw, but the pear is super, super ripe. So it's very soft, very easy for him to munch on. 
And yeah, that's what we're having for lunch. Pear is definitely a favorite around here. Sometimes I will just hand him the whole slice and he can eat that just fine. He will bite it and swallow. But I do like to um, just break it apart because that is easier for him to grab. Okay, so I think we're done. This is pretty much what we are left with. A little bit is on the floor as well. So he ate most of it. He did eat more than I thought he would. And I think he wants more pear. Hey, buddy. Have that. So he might munch on a little bit more, but it's pretty much nap time. And we will pick it up again at dinner. For dinner, I have some Greek yogurt prepared here. This is just plain full fat Greek yogurt. I blended it with a couple of strawberries to add some flavor, a little bit more interest. And then here I have some avocados that are just cut up into pieces that he can grab easily himself. Avocados are a favorite. They're so nutritious. And then these are ABC muffins that I prepped a while ago. I just heated a couple in the microwave. They were in the freezer prior and i just cut them into pieces that are a bit easier for him to grab and then over here in this cup i have some beef broth he hasn't quite figured out the straw cup method yet so i usually end up just taking the lid off and giving it to him as a cup kind of holding it for him to drink another meal for the day that he pretty much polished off <laughs> some days he eats more some days he eats less today was definitely a more day though well i hope this video was helpful for you please give it a thumbs up if it was and also subscribe so that you can see more videos like this one in the future i share new videos here every wednesday let me know if you want to see more videos like this one or what kinds of videos you guys want to see i always love hearing your suggestions thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye